joined by freshman Jan Vide now. Uh, Jan, we haven't spoken to you yet. Uh, just I kind of want to go through the, the decision making process. Uh, what went into the decision to pick UCLA and uh, and become a Bruin? I mean, it was a long process, actually, because uh, as Lazar said before, I haven't like been so clearly about going to the college at the start. Like when I started being in Spain, I, my plan was primarily like going professional in Europe. Um, but then I saw like many problems, I guess, in Europe. Um, because like in many pro teams, like in good pro teams, um, they don't give so much chance for young players. So that scared me a bit. Uh, then, like after a World Cup, it was yeah, in September. Uh, that was like uh, already the process about recruiting me. Uh, and actually, like Coach Cronin, uh, he explained me all the situation. The, the first thing is that I didn't even like, um, I didn't know well about NCAA college programs and all that. Um, but at the end, it was like perfect decision, and I don't regret it. That's great. That's great. Uh, yeah. You all right? So take me through your timeline the last two months because it sounds like an insane travel schedule. You uh, went two months. You yeah. went what, Slovenia in July to the U.S. to start August, and now you're in Spain. What time does your body think it is right now? Uh, so my my season actually ended in May in Spain. So from Spain, I went back home to Slovenia. At Slovenia, I've been like doing preparation for my national team. Right after that, we went to um, Hungary, like uh, for a World Cup, and then I had uh, some vacation in Italy. <laughs> after that, I went to to the States. I, I'm I'm gonna be honest with you. I, there was like not a big deal with jet lag. I guess I woke up two days at like five in the morning, but then after that, it was good. Now going back to Spain, it's a different story. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I've been a little bit tired now, uh, and right now when I'm gonna adjust, we're gonna go back to LA. So, yeah, uh, things, but no, it's okay. Uh, yeah, that's that's yeah. uh that's a crazy travel schedule. I would, I don't yeah. think, I think I'd be wrecked for about two months. Um, so, uh, how was the the first few weeks in LA? Did you feel like you got adjusted to it? Um, how are you liking Westwood so far? Yeah, so Westwood, first of all, it's amazing, um, amazing like part of the city. I really like it. I like my apartment that I'm living in. Uh, so the team was incredible when I came. So I came with my parents, um, to, like to help me move out, move in and everything, uh, and everything. Then I started practicing with the team. Uh, the only thing it was a problem about adjusting to the to the new basketball, I would say rules and new basketball style of the game, uh, more physical, faster pace and stuff like that. But after first week, I felt like I'm already here like for one year. Oh, that's so great. For now, it's perfect. Very good. Um, so what's uh, you were talking about the pace and and kind of the changes. What what's been the biggest thing you've learned so far? The biggest thing that you've already made an adjustment to. Uh, so I'm still trying to learn every day more about. But so for example, the the mentality. I will start with the mentality. Uh, the mentality to like in the practice. I I experience that every like drill, everything at the start of the practice, they're doing one like one hundred ten percent. Right. And that, that just like it was for me, it was like something new because usually in like my club before it was like you warm up a bit, 15 minutes <laughs> to adjust and then you start. Uh, so and then like physicality here is just on different level. Uh, it starts like in the defense. So I was shocked because like I didn't know the rules about NCAA 30 seconds offense. So and I the first thing I said to Coach Cronin was that Imagine playing thirty seconds defense. So <laughs> we're gonna see. We're gonna see how this is gonna go. That's that's uh yeah that's that is a big adjustment. Um, yeah. So is that is that maybe the biggest thing that you're still working on is kind of that adjustment to rules or is it the physicality? I mean, probably it's gonna be the rules when the season's gonna start and stuff like that. Physicality and uh, the style of the game. I I already got it. So we're gonna go slowly. We still have like I guess two and a half months to start the season. So in that time, we're going to go through everything. 
when you're so in these exhibitions, are you guys playing FIBA rules or are you playing? Yeah, uh, we are playing FIBA rules too. So, um, so that's so you, my you, territory. You, now. You, you can teach all the other guys while you're. Uh, yeah, while yeah, you're yeah. they were like, they were like, um, they were like, you know, how can I say, shocked because you cannot pass from an offensive uh, side back to the defense side and some like some rules that are like for me normal, but for them are like a bit weird now. Very interesting. Um, yeah. And then from a from a Obviously, there's still a lot of roles being figured out at this point. You still have two months until the season. How are you seeing yourself kind of fitting in? It seems like you're playing some point guard. Um, how are you seeing yourself fitting in so far? Uh, so, like, I try to be, like, point guard, guard, like, combo guard, I would say. Uh, we're going to see, if, like, so first I need to adjust to the team because I'm a freshman. That's <laughs> the first thing. So I'm going to do everything, when, like, what the team's going to need from me uh so and i'm gonna just like listen to the coach try to do my best every game and yeah we're gonna see i mean there are still burke and adai missing and adam so still the team isn't like in complete process um but i mean already we have like a good chemistry in, in the team uh so like during the games now we see like what what's gonna be our style it's gonna be like aggressive in defense fast breaks trying to score, try and defend well. So we're going to see how my role is going to go in. So watching some of your tape, obviously I haven't watched uh, a whole lot because we just don't get too many uh, FIBA games out here, but um, watched quite a bit. And it seems like driving is a major strength of yours. What would you describe as probably your two or three best assets as a player at this point? Uh, so I'm really good in, in like, I call it like this first step when I'm, when I'm like playing one-on-one, stuff like that. And the dollar dollar thing is gonna be probably mid range shot or floater, and I just like love transition, um, like especially like when it's like open court and just like I find my space in that. And just as a player generally, not even considering the rules, what are the main things that you wanna that you're focused on getting better at? Uh, so probably, I mean, definitely like um, shooting from the from the tree. Uh, I'm trying to be more aggressive on rebounds and more aggressive in defense. Very good. And then, um, are you? I mean, you've obviously spent some time in Spain. Are you given some of the uh, some of the guys who are uh, maybe from the states, like Sebastian and so on? Are you giving them a little bit of a tour, giving them a feel for? Uh, <laughs> yeah, for so I, I actually, I actually lived in in Madrid for four years. Uh, so yeah, they they always ask me the things where should we go next, where should we eat, like in which restaurant. Uh, then they're always asking me, yeah, and say this in Spanish, say that. And now I'm feeling like I'm a tourist guy. Uh, <laughs> That's fun. Um, and yeah. then uh, what's been your experience um, with these uh, charity clinics that you guys have been uh, participating in while you've been in Spain? Oh, no, it was amazing. It was like first time that I experienced that, like being a part of the charity event. And it was like crazy. Like I had a super fun. Uh, it was really nice because I saw in the eyes of the kids how much they meant to them to like hear for like from a dame who's been like um part of the UCLA program like for years and uh Kenny and uh, they were like like Lazar said before because I heard him speaking he said they were like a lot of kids were like considering going to the college so I was surprised at that and it was like super 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 fun time like spending with the kids all right. Well, thank you so much, Jan. It's great to meet you, and um, good luck over the next few days while you uh, finish out your <laughs> Spain trip. Try to get adjusted back to West Coast time when you arrive back <laughs> in the U.S., and uh, we'll see you in a couple of months when the season starts. Okay. Thank you, David. Thank you. See you.